Welcome to the second edition of Throw Forward Thursday. Uh, yes, my name is Graham Codrington. I am a futurist. Doesn't mean I can predict the future, but I look for disruptive change, for things that are going to change the world, and specifically things that will change the world dramatically and forever. And every Thursday, I am going to talk about something that just blows my mind about the future. So today, I want to talk about graphene. Uh, graphene is a material. It was discovered by two scientists at the University of Manchester in 2004. They won the Nobel Prize for it. Uh, it is a single layer of carbon uh, molecules. So it's a two-dimensional material, basically, because it's a single atom thick. But this is bizarre. It is 200 times stronger than steel. It can be made flexible if you want to, or rigid. The choice is yours, depends how you make the material. It can be transparent like glass or not. The choice is yours. It can conduct electricity better than copper, I think about 10 times better than copper, and it can conduct heat better than copper as well. Again, about four or five times better than copper. It can also take a uh, instructions like smart materials like silicon can, so it can be made a smart material, <laughs> and it's lighter than air. I mean, it sounds like I'm making this up, right? It sounds like I'm telling you uh, about a space age material from science, some science fiction movie. This is what the Star Trek Enterprise is made of. But graphene is real, and I think I need to talk about it in the same terms that we might have talked about concrete and steel a century or so ago, that it would change the landscapes of cities, it would change the way that we think about how we build things in the world, because we can now build buildings out of graphene that would be lighter than the air inside them, because graphene is lighter than air. It's remarkable. <laughs> and we could build electric vehicles that are unbelievably light. So now we're talking about flying cars and airplanes. And I think this might work for spaceships. And then, well, beyond the engineering stuff, when we go into batteries, using graphene as a basis for batteries seems to be something awesome. In fact, just go and have a look at graphene, up-to-date graphene news. There's a lot of websites dedicated to it now. You'll see everything from uh, new computing applications to using filters in medical devices. The, I mean, literally the list goes on and on and on. This wonder material graphene. If you have heard of it, excellent. I'll keep an eye on it. If you haven't heard of it before, why not if it's such an amazing material? Uh, you know, it's nearly 20 years old. Why haven't you heard of it? Because it's quite expensive to make. And, and the um, mechanisms that we've got to make it at the moment mean it's not really accessible yet. The cost of graphene is plummeting every every year. It's it's kind of halving at the moment, and very soon it will be. We'll find a way to manufacture it in a way that makes it accessible and usable in all the types of things I've just talked about. So throw back, throw forward Thursday. Throw back Thursday. We go back to two thousand and four and the discovery of graphene. Throw forward Thursday. We go to some time towards the end of the 2020s, we begin to see graphene being used as a material um, for building things, a material in medical devices, a material, a wonder material, as remarkable as steel and concrete were, as remarkable as electricity was, as remarkable as the wheel was in changing how our world looks. I can't even imagine some of what graphene will do for us, but I know I'm keeping my eye on it and so should you. If you'd like more information about some of the things we should be watching, we'll make sure you subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. Click the bell so that you get notifications when new videos are put up. And every Thursday, we'll go together to the future.